may the Lord our God be glorified and may you all be blessed through him our savior când fratele spunea despre aceste cutremure și catastrofe care se întâmplau în when an... my, our brother here was mentioning every catastrophe that has taken place throughout the world pot să confirm și eu la fel că s-a mulțit s-a dublat cutremurile în în Japonia I can confirm to you that this is is the truth that even in the nation of Japan the earthquakes have doubled multe mulți frați pastori din Japonia m-au informat m-a sunat mi-a dat și scrisori că frate Eli roagă-te că cu tremurile s-au mulțit la noi I have many friends pastors in Japan and they're calling me and sending me letters and saying Brother Ilya, pray for us because it seems to be a tremendous increase in our area of earthquakes. Și chiar în România anul acesta s-a dublat cu tremurile. And even in my nation in Romania this year there's been an increase of earthquakes and like more than double than any time before. Rusia stă chiar la graniță, așteaptă să vină să treacă prin România. Russia's right up at our border. They're prepared, as before they've done it before, to trample, you know, across Romania. Ne-a dat un salut, a spus că în jumătate de oară poate să ocupe toată România. Very, very, with much pride, you know, they send us a, a warning. They said that in half an hour we can occupy all of Romania. Și Europa, maxim o oară. And they said we can take over Europe in an hour, probably. Maximum. We know there's, these are signs that are speaking to us that the coming of our Lord Jesus is near. The church has to be watching and praying. When the brother was speaking and reading off those uh, events, current events, God spoke to me. De la cartea lui Iov, ne dă Domnul mângâiere. Domnul vrea să ne mângâie inimile la tot, să ne întărească. It's found in the book of Job. I believe God wants to comfort us. He wants to give us uh, encouragement here. This day, no to motiv să ne temem. we have no reason to be fearful. Că sub aripa a Because we find ourselves under the wings of our Lord, and His wings are outstretched over us. El știe lui. And He knows how to protect His children. Și când vin necazuri multe, Dumnezeu lucrează și mai mult. And when the trials increase, you know, the miracles increase in a greater way also. Și Dumnezeu mi-a dat acest cuvânt din Iov 19. If we read in Job, God gave me this word just as I was sitting there from chapter 19 of Job. Versetul 25. Verse 25, 19, 25. Dar știu că... Am un răscumpărător și răscumpărătorul meu este viu. Says here, for I know that my redeemer lives. Răscumpărătorul nostru e viu, glorie lui. Our redeemer is alive, glory be to him. Ce minunat lucru, ce mare promisiune. What a wonderful promise for us to take to take to think about. Isus ne-a răscumpărat. We know that Jesus has redeemed us lui. and that we belong to him. Nu contează ce se întâmplă în jurul nostru. Doesn't matter what happens around us. Nu contează că Nord Corea amenință America, amenință Japonia. Doesn't matter what North Korea is threatening Japan and the United States. Controlul și momentul trebuie să vină de sus. The moment, the timing is to, has to come from above. Nu poate diavolul să facă nimic fără permisiunea și fără timpul hotărât de Dumnezeu. The devil can't do anything without God allowing him to do it in the right time allowed by the Lord. Deci noi trebuie să ne bucurăm. So then we need to rejoice during this time. Și să spunem răscumpărătorul nostru e viu. And we need to proclaim my redeemer is alive. E viu și a triumfat. 
He is alive. He has triumphed. A primit victoria. We have received the victory. La calvar. At Calvary. Și prin el. And through him. Cu el. And with him. Și pentru el. And for him. Suntem răscumpărați a lui. Aparținem lui. We have been redeemed and thus we now belong to him. Acestea trebuie să fie îndemnurile noastre în această zi, unul so, pe altul. This should be something that we use to encourage each other this day with. Ar vrea să spun că Johnny, atunci când Dumnezeu îngăduit să fie bon lav, My son Johnny that is here with me, I want to just mention. Eu n-am știut că el era în spital în Germania. There was a few uh, years back. Chiar atunci He când s-a sick, întâmplat în 2009, s-a întâmplat acel mare cu tremur în uh, Fukushima, în uh, Japonia, acel tsunami mare. I was in Japan and I didn't know that he was sick in the hospital in Germany. Și cu trei zile înainte Dumnezeu mi-a arătat să schimb biletul. And three days uh, prior to the big earthquake that took place. Uh, in Japan, God showed me to change the plans, to change my ticket. I didn't know why. Dar am încercat să le schimb și nu puteam, nu aveam loc. I tried to change my my plane ticket, my reservation, and there was no seating available. Și cu două zile înainte, and then two days before, s-a găsit un loc. There happened to come up one empty seat. În acea zi am aflat că John era în spital în Stuttgart. And that same very day, I f- discovered that my son was sick in the hospital in Germany, the city of Stuttgart. I like him to come up and share briefly. Testimony. I had to end my trip to Japan. I had scheduled to meet with about 200 pastors in. Uh, the city of Fukushima. Acolo unde a fost cea mai mare, cu In that area sără. where the where was the epicenter of the big earthquake that took place. Toți pastorii s-au supărat că au plătit bilete, au avut rezervare la hotel. You can imagine hund- these hundreds of pastors they were upset at me because they had made reservations, they had flown in, they had come in, they had, had hotel reservations and all All that is involved in. Dragii mei, un lucru foarte important în viața noastră. Beloved, it's a, so much, so, such much great significance in our life. Să ascultăm de Domnul. To listen to the voice of the Lord. Să cunoaștem timpul hotărât de El. To be aware of the time that the Lord is is uh, over and watching. Și Dumnezeu mi-a dat acela. Acea libertate să poți veni în Europa la Johnny. So God made the way for me, gave me the uh, opportunity to be able to come to my son in Germany. Okay, John. Hi, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I think this is the first time I've ever held a mic to my... Uh, yes, yeah, so as, as Dad said, a few, 2011, actually, Dad. It seems yeah. longer than that, but um, 2010, I was diagnosed with uh, stage 3 cancer, my lower spine, I had a tumor. I was working for the government at the time and stationed in Germany. Um, I was in the Air Force for 10 years and I, t- I took a, a job working for them after I got out. So I found myself in, in Stuttgart, Germany, um, sick, pretty alone. I kind of uh, was going through a very difficult time in, in my life. Um, a little bit isolated from my family. So I didn't really tell, you know, too many people in my family that I was diagnosed with cancer. And um, I was there in the hospital. I remember I was going, I think, through my second round of uh, chemo and I had gotten uh, an infection. And so I was kind of in bad shape because they had to stop the the chemo and treat the infection in my blood. And um, anyways, uh, my dad found out that that I was sick um, through my mom. I called my mom one night. I had a, uh, a dream and I just felt that God was speaking to me through this illness and that uh, you know I should call my mom. So I called my mom and I think that was the first time that they found out that I was sick. Well, my dad, um, you know, she immediately called my dad to tell, tell them that I was sick. And he, of course, as he mentioned, he was in Japan. He had a, a He's planted, 
I want to say hundreds of churches in Japan. He's been going to Japan for about 30 years. God's opened up a lot of uh, doors there, and a lot of people have come to salvation. So usually once or twice a year for about 30 years now, he goes to Japan to minister to the various churches there. But um, he, he had a long schedule uh, in front of him of several churches that he was supposed to visit. And so when he found out, somehow I guess simultaneously the Holy Spirit had been working with him in his heart and preparing him for something. And uh, when he found out that I was sick, that was sort of the confirmation that God used. And he, you know, uh, attempted to fly out to see me. Unbeknownst to me, I didn't know what was going on. I was in, in the hospital. Um, but from, from my perspective, being sick, I, I remember, uh, you know, waking up after going through treatment and seeing my father there. And at the same time, I think maybe 30 minutes before, I turned the TV on and we saw the, the happening of Fukushima, the uh, earthquake in the ocean that caused this tsunami that wiped out basically, you know, thousands of people. So it was, uh, as, I, as I turned on the TV, I, I just remember thinking, wow, dad's there. And then, you know, a few minutes later, he opens the door and walks in. And I guess my testimony is that throughout my life and, and um, you know, interesting things have happened. Being my father's son, he's a man that's God used uh, greatly in many aspects, and he's experienced many miracles personally. But we as his children has, have also undeniably had to see these things that a lot of people think we're crazy when we try to tell them the story and there's just hundreds of stories like that but that was a sort of a big change in my spiritual walk with God that the whole cancer experience and that miracle of dad kind of es escaping and using my sort of tragedy to to come and something I don't think he's ever really done canceled a big meeting or series of meetings um so yeah, that uh, it was it was a, a really powerful experience, and I just wanted to share with you guys as a sort of a millennial that you know our generation really has a hard time believing and processing the supernatural. We've kind of dismissed it and called it flaky and fluky, but God does work, and He is and still in the business of healing and miracles, and He doesn't change in that aspect. And um, I've experienced it and seen it firsthand. So, yeah, that's my testimony. So he's standing here healed. Yeah, I, did, I skipped healthy. that part, obviously. Hallelujah. It was a, Glory be to God. It was a, it was a process, but um, I, I guess I can go ahead and I, I often skip that part. I talk about the Japanese thing, but I, was, I went through uh, about six cycles of chemotherapy. And toward the last cycle, Dad showed up again. They were scheduling to have this tumor removed out of my lower spine. And um, Dad, his faith is so strong sometimes, it's really scary. Um, <laughs> he told the doctor, no, you won't have surgery. Um, you're, he's going to be healed. And I, I mean, I don't really believe, you know, I'm, it's not like I'm exerting faith and this happened through my exercise of faith. It's more, um, it, the miracle just happened in my disbelief. Um, I, I prayed and I said, God, you know, your will be done. But the tumor disappeared, I think, one or two days before the surgery was scheduled. And the doctor, you know, he was white as a ghost. He came <laughs> to, to my room and said, you know, it, we don't know what's happening. We're going to give you more tests. It was a Christian hospital, too, in Germany. And, you know, they make you, in Germany, all, uh, if you're working in a Christian hospital, they make you kind of sign to their vision statement or their, their theological statement. So the, the doctor was a Christian, but, you know, he didn't really believe in miracles. And this was a, an interesting experience for him. So the cancer disappeared. I was healed. I feel healthy. This is five years, uh, six years ago. Um, and God's faithful, and miracles happen, and I'm one of them. This is just one miracle in my life, and one in, in dads of, of hundreds, but um, 
I, I want to encourage you guys all to, to have faith and to believe in the supernatural. And God's going to, in these last days, pour out uh, an anointing, um, a gift over people praying and seeing things, uh, healings and miracles and prophecies and visions like never before. I really believe that. So I wanted to encourage you and give it back to my Thank dad. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. God bless you. Amen. 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 He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Good. He got on the wrong channel. Our Redeemer is alive. He is alive and he hears our prayer. Și lucrează la timpul hotărât de el. And he will do his work in the right predetermined time ordained el, by him. Dumnezeu nu întârzie în împlinirea făgăduințelor lui. God is never going to be too late to fulfill the promises that he's made. Noi avem o problemă, toți. We all have a problem. Nimeni nu poate să spună că nu are această problemă. There's no one excluded that can say I, they don't have this problem. Răbdare. We need patience and sometimes extended, long patience. Noi de multe ori suntem tentați să luăm decizii rapid. Many times we are tempted to take quick, quick, quick decision. Make a decision right now. Totul dacă se poate instant. <laughs> we live in this, you know, everything is an instant timing in society that we find ourselves in. Biblia ne spune să răscumpărăm. Vremea. But the Bible tells us to redeem the time că timpul este because the time is what? Short. Short. Yeah. Și este scurt și este greu, rău. And it's evil. The evil times that we find ourselves, that we're living through. Pentru acest verset că am predicat în România mulți ani în urmă for this verse I preached out of uh, many years acest ago. Acest verset e la Efeseni 5 cu, cu in my country, you can find that in Ephesians 5.16, mentioning. Pentru acest verset, o trebuie să sufăr, să fiu anchetat, să fiu arestat. Mentioning that verse one time, I remember I had to go through so many trials and difficulties and being interrogated. Noi nu vorbim noi despre guvern, noi ne rugăm pentru guvern, pentru conducere. It wasn't like I was speaking negative against the government, but somehow they took it in that way that I was... Speaking negative against our our government. In Romania, we have a position that, for you, will be something special. You know, it might sound strange. Uh, some tradition we have in Romania, to, you know. Din cauza persecuției și a comunistilor. Because of the communists and the great persecution they they brought upon us. Lor nu le place să audă toată Biblia. The communists don't like to hear the Bible, the whole Word of God. Multe lucruri din Biblie îi îmbolnăvește, îi supără, îi tulbură. You know, many things in the Bible makes them angry, makes them upset. Dar noi trebuie să spunem adevărul. But our calling is to be people of the truth, to speak the truth. Cu milă, cu bunătate, cu dragoste. Of course, with grace, with goodness, with love, with compassion. Dar tuturor trebuie să le spui adevărul. But to everyone we meet, we must speak the truth to them. Cred că la fel e și în America. I believe we, we should do the same in America also, right? Dacă biserica va cunoaște adevărul. Because if the church will know the truth, vom învăța adevărul. If we will learn the truth, vom umbla în adevăr zi de zi. If we will daily walk out in the, our life in the truth, Nimeni n-are ce să ne facă, nimeni nu ne poate acuza pe adevărat cu nimic. Then no one can do harm to you. Domnul no one can even accuse you of anything. Iisus a spus, eu sunt calea adevărul și viața. And the, my prayer is, may God's help be on our behalf to help us, because he said that he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. Dar în România, când murea cineva, But in uh, Romania, when there would be a funeral, Asta pare poate ciudat pentru voi. This is what the part that may seem strange. Toți credincioșii se bucurau. All the believers would greatly have like a, a celebration of rejoicing. 
Cea mai mare bucurie când murea cineva. Seemed like the greatest celebration of joy would be when we would have a funeral. Și vă dau răspunsul de ce. You know why this would happen? La o mormântare în România. At a funeral in Romania. Care o începea de obicei dimineața de la 10. It would usually start about 10 in the morning. Și ținea până seara în jur de ora 5 sau 6. And it would end probably that evening, maybe 5, 6 o'clock in the evening. Vineau mii de oameni. Thousands of people would show up. Numai la mormântare eram liber să predicăm. Liber. The only time we had freedom to speak freely from the word of God is at the funeral. <laughs> Așa era. Nimeni nu putea să ne facă nimică. They had like uh, this unspoken law that they wouldn't harm you if you Putem spoke. predica de unde Dumnezeu ți arăta toată Biblia. You could pick any part of the Bible. You weren't, you know, limited to what verses you could In choose to speak from. Vineau mii de oameni din toate împrejurimile, din toate vilejele. There's thousands of people surrounding, walking for many miles distance from surrounding towns and villages. Nu conta persoana cât era de bătrân sau tânăr sau bogat sau sărac. It didn't matter, you know, who that person was, how young, how old. So Credincioșii kind of vineau de pretutindeni, s-adunau cu miile. Yeah, what, what standing they had, but the believers would gather by the thousands. Și oamenii erau curioși, toți oamenii necredincioși vineau și ascultau Evanghelia toată ziua. That caused the unbelievers to be very interested and curious to see what's going on over there, you know, all these thousands of people are gathered. La fiecare mormântare, întotdeauna când era... Vineau, se întorceau la Dumnezeu sute de oameni. So then they would come, the unbelievers would hear the gospel, hundreds of people would become born again believers. Câteodată se rugau frații mai bătrâni. Sometimes the, elder, the elders would pray. Eu eram tânăr, dar auzeam cum se rugau. I was a young man during that time, but I could hear the men of God praying out to Spune, the Lord. The, uh, the prayers would be, Lord, take me home because I want to create this joy you know, in an ongoing, in an ongoing fashion so others can come to you also. <laughs> it kind of, it sounds, sounds kind of strange, you know, to think about, but that's the truth. That's what, how they, they believe. Într-o zi nu era Dumnezeu o descoperire, eram tânăr. One day God gave me a, like a word, a word of knowledge, a revelation, I was a young man. Și-a venit un cuvânt că zice, în scurt timp, în câteva, două zile, voi lua acasă la mine pe cel mai bogat om din comuna aceasta. It's like out of nowhere I received this word from the Lord in a very short time, in two days time, I will take the most wealthy person out of this, na- this area. Noi atunci ne-am întrebat care e cel mai bogat dintre cei credincioși. And then we began to say, wow, who, who is, who, do you, anybody know who's the most wealthy person of all the believers in this, this community? Noi întotdeauna gândim diferit. You know, we always think different as human beings. Și Dumnezeu a luat pe cel mai sărac om. You know, in the, two days later, the, the poorest person of ever, everyone in that area. Dar el avea o familie foarte mare. But he had a very large family. Și au venit foarte multe lume din multe sate la la mormântare. And at this funeral, many people gathered from all over the surrounding villages. Și spuneau frații bătrâni care predicau că cei mai mulți oameni s-au întors la mormântarea aceea la Domnul. And so the believe, the word of God, the, the word came out, and the believers, you know, many turned to the Lord and became believers. They took track and counted. Hundreds of people returned to, came to the north. Florida Houston. You know, for us, we're so sad, you know, to see what's going on in Houston, to see what's going on in Florida and all over. We're, of course, not rejoice, not happy when we see all of these events taking place. But the most important thing to keep To keep in our focus and our mind is we know where we are going. You know, in the end, be it that we go to go to go home through the water or through a car accident or other way. 
we don't know the secret of God. What is the means? What, which way we will go to Dar be home? La de Isus. But we know where we are going, right? We are going to the place that the Lord Jesus is preparing for us. Noi știm că avem un we know we have a Redeemer. Și nostru e viu. And our Redeemer is living. Și el se va în curând. And he will come back soon again. A fost foarte greu pentru mine, ca tată. It was very difficult for me as a dad. Am plâns și m-am certat cu Dumnezeu odată în California. I cried and I argued one time with God in, in California 80, in 1980. A luat Dumnezeu un copil de a meu acasă la el. You know, God allowed one of my sons to be taken home to heaven. De cinci ani avea. He was five years of age. Era atât de scump, atât de drag tuturora. He was so precious, so such a wonderful little boy. Și ultimul care a fost născut în România, avea cinci ani când a... He was my last born in Romania before the, my family came out of Romania. And... Și Dumnezeu a îngăduit să fie lovit de o mașină. God allowed, you know, for a car to strike him. A plecat acasă. Took him home to heaven. Am fost foarte supărat. I was sad, very sad. Dar Dumnezeu m-a întrebat, este copilul tău sau e al meu? But then God spoke to me and he asked me, is, is he your child or is he my child? Yes, Lord, he's your child. We, we're all yours. We all belong to you. God said to me, then, what are you so upset about? I take the flowers from my garden, you know, the ones that I like, the ones that I want to enjoy. Nu putem să argumentăm cu Dumnezeu. Nu înțelegem. Shut my mouth. I couldn't argue with God anymore after that. Noi avem foarte multe întrebări. We have many questions. La unele primim răspuns aici, la unele le vom primi sus. Some we will find answers down here below. Some we'll never find any answers here until we get up there to heaven. După patru ani plecam cu Daniel la din California la Texas. And four years later, My son and I were traveling throughout the United States. We were on our way to Texas to a conference. Și a văzut că am developat un film la magazin. And this was four years later, and we had some pictures we were going through that we had developed. Și acest copilaj Ilie, and this little boy, my son, same as my dad's name, Ilie, o apărut cu noi în poză clar. Was a reflect, he was reflected in a, one of the pictures. You can see his image very clearly. What is up with this picture? When I saw it, I asked my dad, what's, what's, what is this? Have you seen this? Pull over right now. Look. <laughs> Pulled the car over, you know, to the right side. We looked at it. We were like startled. We were in awe. We couldn't believe it. Acea poză care a apărut el cu noi, this picture was o atins inima lui Daniel și mulți tineri. Was a great testimony for me as I was a young man and going through a difficult time. And it touched my heart and it touched many people's hearts as I showed them the picture. De ce așa știe el? Why this happened? The Lord el is in control. In control. control. He knows why these things happen. M-am dus la fratele Pat Robertson la 700 Club și am arătat poza. We showed that picture on the, you know, the 700 Club. We were invited to go to Pat Robertson 700 Club show back then. S-a mirat. And he was in awe also. Am mai avut un caz câțiva ani în urmă. O fetiță a apărut în poză cu părinții ei după vreo 2-3 ani. He said he had another case, a similar case, where a few years after a little girl had passed away, she had appeared in a picture with her family also. Da, asta poate dovedi, ne arată nouă, and this can show and prove to us că noi nu suntem doar aici. that we don't just belong down here. E o lume nouă. Noi suntem transferați într-o clipă când vrea Domnul în lumea cea nouă. But there's another realm. You know, there's another... There's another existence and in that moment when the Lord wants to transfer us from this place we should be ready to go to that new place. Glory lui Dumnezeu, locul pregătit. Glory be to God, that place is prepared for us. V-am spus aceste întâmplări ca să vă bucurați. I telling you these things just for you to rejoice in the Lord. Și multe 
Multă lume care a văzut poza aceea a fost atins de puterea lui Dumnezeu. You can imagine many people that, see, that have seen that picture with their own eyes, they were touched by the power of, of the Holy Spirit. Noi n-am știut că se poate așa ceva, n-am crezut. We didn't believe even to the, that level, you know, of what was happening, what took place. Nu vrem să facem din aceasta un big deal. No, we don't want to make a big deal out of these things. Dar îi dăm glorie lui Dumnezeu. But all the glory belongs Cât to God. noi nu înțelegem multe lucruri. We don't understand many things. Dar Dumnezeu le știe pe toate. But God is in control and knows all things. Așa momente să petrecem. And the no. time Timpul, has just flown by. Timpul fuge și noi stăm pe loc. <laughs> time is running, we're sitting still. <laughs> Am vrut să vorbesc astăzi despre răbdare. I wanted to mention about patience a little bit this morning. Avem nevoie de răbdare. We need more patience. Și Daniel va citi câteva versete din Biblie despre aceasta. I want to read a few verses for you real quick from Iar the Bible. Noi să ne înarmăm cu răbdare și de lungă răbdare. You know, God wants us to, uh, to be uh, equipped, to arm ourselves, to have patience, to have a lot of patience. Credința lucrează cu răbdare. Because faith works through, through patience. So I'm going to start out by reading uh, just a, a few verses. You can turn there if you want or you don't have to. You can listen from the Old Testament and then go to the New Testament. First out of Genesis 41. And in the uh, verses here, like beginning from verse 29 to verse uh, 46, it's describing... Uh, what happened after 13 years? Joseph, he was young man, about 17, when he had this dream. And then over here it says in verse uh, 46, Joseph was 30 years old when he entered the service of Pharaoh king of Egypt. And so it took, a, it took 13 years from the time he had the, the dreams that God was going to raise him up and use him till the time when that was fulfilled. So I, I, for sake of time, I won't take the whole time to read, but then I'll go to the New Testament. Yes. In the New Testament, la Evrei, capitolo 6. And then in, in the New Testament, in Hebrews, the sixth Chapter. Putem vedea credința cum lucrează împreună cu răbdarea. We can see here how faith is coupled together when it is working with, with patience. Fiindcă dacă noi nu avem răbdare suficientă pentru timpul hotărât de Dumnezeu, because if we don't have sufficient patience for the right ordained time by the Lord, nu vom primi făgăduințele lui Dumnezeu. Then we will not see the, the promises of God in our life. So in Hebrews, Hebrews, uh, let's read just 12. chapter 6, we'll read two verses, 11 and 12. And it says in Hebrews 6, and we desire each of you to show the same earnestness, to have the full assurance of hope until the end, so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Prin credință și răbdare primesc făgăduințele. So we see here through faith and through patience we inherit the promises. Dumnezeu are atât de multe făgăduințe pentru noi. You know, God has so many promises ordained for, our, for us. Și noi ne întrebăm de multe ori, când, Doamne, când îți vei aduce la îndeplinire făgăduințele Tale? And we ask ourselves, oh Lord, when are you going to fulfill those promises in our life? Și de multe ori, eu în nostru și vrăjmașul ne sălește să luăm decizii rapide. And many times, ourselves, you know, and even could be the enemy, is pushing us to make decisions too quickly. Atunci noi trebuie ca să trecem prin examenul în delunge răbdări. It is in those times that we need to practice our patience and be long enduring in patience. Să cunoaștem timpul hotărât de Dumnezeu. So that we can know the right plan time of Dumnezeu the Lord. Dumnezeu mi-a promis mulți ani din România când eram persecutați în închisoare în Rusia, în România, că te voi scăpa din țara asta. While I was going through many times of, of persecution, I was many times put in jail, beaten, 
treated horribly. But during those times of my life, God would remind me of his promises that one day you will be set free. You will be delivered from, from all of this suffering. And God would just speak to me in a short way. Be patient. Timpul lui Dumnezeu e diferit de timpul nostru. God's timing is different than our timing. Timpul lui e un timp perfect. His timing is a perfect timing. Eu am avut o răpire sufletească când eram tânăr în anul, aveam 23 de ani, în 63 anul. In uh, 63, I was a young man and I had a rapture, a spiritual rapture. Îngerul care a venit m-a lovit și a spus, vii pentru, pentru o secundă cu mine. During a Uh, all night prayer meeting an angel came and struck struck me and uh, I was raptured the angel said to me come with me for a second my body remained in the place where I was but in my spirit I, I departed with the angel he said come with me for one second and three hours later this you know timing dacă s-o cotim o secundă la Dumnezeu pentru noi trei ore. So for me, my, I was like thinking, wow, one second to God, three hours for me. Înseamnă că 24 de ore are vreo 8 secunde. So, you know, in my calculation, I was thinking, wow, maybe 8 seconds in one day, 24 hours. Deci timpul lui Dumnezeu e diferit, dragii mei. Uh, God's timing is different than our timing. God is going to do his work in the right vom time that he desires. Vom Let's just look at a few more uh, Bible verses. Eu vă încurajez să învățați despre răbdare și să aveți îndelungă răbdare în toate lucrurile. I want to encourage you about patience. Că numai în felul acesta Dumnezeu va lucra. In all of these things, God is going to glorify His name. Also in Hebrews, the 10th chapter. Începând cu versetul 35. And if we look at verse 35. Până la urmă, Hebrews 10, 35, I'm going to read to the end. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that... When you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. For yet a little while, and the coming one will come and will not delay. But my righteous one shall live by faith, and if he shrinks back, my soul shall not have pleasure in him. But we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who have faith and persevere. And, and what does it say here? And persevere their souls, yes. Yeah. Deci, dragii mei, să învățăm acest cuvânt. Eu nu mai am timp să vă predic. The time has flown by, beloved. I encourage you to study, to read these verses. Uh, you, I don't have time to preach. You have good preachers here in America. <laughs> Citiți-le, învățați-le, meditați-le. Read these verses. Meditate on them. Put them in your heart. Am citit despre Iosif, care a avut atâta răbdare și îndelungă răbdare. We mentioned Joseph in, in, in how he had patience and extended patience. The easiest thing to do is to lose your patience when you're going through difficulties, through trials. When you are in prison and when you are threatened, that you will not be set free again ever, that all your travels and have ended, they have come to an end. Asta era cu mine în 72 în, în Rusia. This took place with me in 72 in Russia. În închisoare. I found myself in prison. Dar Duhul Sfânt care nu lipsește din ajutorul nostru. But the Holy Spirit that is never de departs and is never absent to help. Nu contează unde ești. No matter where you are. El te conduce, te mângâi, te întărește, îți vorbește. He, is guiding us he's he's speaking to us he's strengthening us Poliția a spus că vei fi închis pentru totdeauna a omorât un om în Rusia The the police were declaring that I would be in jail for all my for life because I killed somebody with a car in a car accident Nu am condus mașină în Rusia I didn't have a car I didn't even drive a car in Russia 
But the devil has his ways of lying. Acuzații false. Making false accusations. El e tata minciunii. He's the father of all lies. Ce avem de făcut noi? What do we have to do? Să răbdăm și să ne rugăm. To be patient, to pray. Și auzind vocea Domnului. And hearing the voice of the Lord. Și Domnul mi-a spus în noaptea aceea în închisoare. The Lord spoke to me that night in prison. Eu voi deschide drumul pentru tine. I will make a way for you. Eu there seems calea. to be no way. I am the way. Și așa a făcut glorie lui. That's what he did. I give him all the glory. I dau toată gloria și mulțumesc lui Dumnezeu pentru voi toți. I give him all the glory. I thank God for each and every one of you. Mulțumesc Domnului pentru că ați venit în această zi. I thank God because we're gathered here this day. Mulțumesc Pastor Filip, la toți vă mulțumim. I thank Pastor Phil. I thank you Pastor. All of you. Pentru dragostea, bunătatea și iertați-mă că am întârziat. Thank you for your patience. You know the time has flown by. We can Mulțumesc me pentru for... rugăciunile voastre și voi sunteți în inimă. I thank you so much for your prayers. You plec are in our hearts. Peste o săptămână și ceva plec în România din nou. In a week I'm returning back to Romania. Eu am încheiat misiunea în România mai mult de 50%. More than 50% of the phase of my work in Romania is coming to a close. Dar vom continua misiunea în România. The ministry of Walk in the Light will continue to minister. Many young people God is raising up over there the desire to work for Him. They have a heart for the Lord. And now I will be set free to be able to labor more in, in the United States. This will free me up more to be able to travel to other nations. Dar vreau să călătoresc și prin America, în jurul nostru, în jurul orașului nostru. There's many other open doors, you know, around uh, here in the United States that, that are waiting for me to come and to visit. Sunt destui tineri, Johnny, Daniel, mulți <laughs> alții care Dumnezeu vrea să-i folosească, să-i trimite. I'm glad God is raising up, you know, young, young men and like Johnny, like myself, like, all, like many of you here. God wants to raise you up. God wants to send you out in this time that we're living in. Să mergeți acolo unde vă trimite Domnul. To go in the places where the Lord will send you. Și să aveți în lungă răbdare ca El să-și împlinească lucrările Lui care le-a promis pentru fiecare din noi. Remain in patience and through faith you know that God is going to fulfill His promises. 